Okay, now that we have our um, fill amount in place and our map function in place, we can start adding some actual functionality to this uh, this tutorial. So, first of all, we'll have to make a property called max value. So, if you have Visual Studio, you can write prop and tap two times. This will create an automatic property for you. And basically, this property will be deciding the max value um, of the bar. And this will be updated when the player gets more health, for example. Um, then the max value of the bar will, of course, be increased if he gets more maximum health, that is. The max value should be a float, and we should call it max value here. So this is our property. If you don't have Visual Studio and you can't tap two times, well, then you can simply just write this code as it is right here on the screen. That works totally fine as well. Okay, what else? We will have to make a normal property called value. And this property will be setting the value of the bar. So whenever we access this property from another um, script, we will actually be updating the bar kind of. So public float value. And remember, these are properties. So they are with capital letters. And in here, uh, if I can find my scopes, here we go we will have to write set so this is only a set property we don't need to be able to to get it and we say our fill amount is equal to map value okay so what is value in this case well value is the value that we are giving to value <laughs> funny so let's see if i ever in my code write value equals 2 well then this value called value here this one is actually equal to 2 for example so let's say that we want to update our fill amount and we have 10 health well then this value here will be 10 health so if I ever say bar script dot value equals 10 well then I sell my bar well you need to update because I only have 10 health left so the bar will update basically so we need to give in value here and then we need to tell the minimum is zero. It's always zero uh, for now, at least um, the maximum. Well, the maximum is equal to our max value. So it's very important that this one will be equal to the max value of whatever it's monitoring. If it's the player's health, then it's very important that it's equal to the maximum of the player's health. And then the out minimum is zero and the maximum is one because we want to get zero and one. The, like something between zero and one. So now we have a max value and we have a property for this. Um, right now we are just saying we want to map our stuff down here. That's not correct. We need to set it equal to our um, fill amount. So our fill amount will be updated by value here and our content.fill amount will be set equal to that one and it's called an update. We could make an if statement here actually this says if our fill amount is different from our content dot fill amount then we do so so we don't need to update it all the time only if this is true so if our fill amount if we get a new value if we tell our health bar hey i have 10 health then we say well our fill amount is different from the current fill amount so we update it basically that's what's happening okay now we will need to create our stats so let's go to our stat and in here it we need to change a lot of things because we don't need it to be a mono behavior so first of all delete start and update and it's very important that you remember to do this else it's not going to work as we want it to delete start and update and delete mono behavior and the colon here so the class only looks like this public class stat that's all it needs to be right now so first of all our stat needs to have a bar script because every single stat should be bound up to a bar so that the health can tell the bar that it's it's uh, monitoring that it needs to update for example so private bar script bar so this is the bar that is connected with this specific stat as that can be energy health mana experience and so on strength for that matter then we need a max value so private float max value 
and we need a current value so private float current value okay um so this current value here is the current value of this stat which means if it's health we need to be able to set the current value of health whenever we take damage or whenever we take a potion or something like that so we need to make a property for this you can right click 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 quick action and encapsulate field like so or you can write this code by yourself we don't need to do anything to the get function it just returns the current value but we need to do something to the set function here so in the set we will have to say bar dot value equals current value and we need to do so after we have set the current value so actually under here it's very important that you set the current value before you tell the bar to update its value if you do it the other way around then it's not going to update because the current value is not updated fun enough so we have a, a, a function um, a float up here sorry a float um, which um, indicates what the current value of this stat is for example 10 health when you want to set that current value you always have to go through this property here so it's current value with a capital C so you say when you do that when you try to set it you set the current value and then you tell the bar that this um, stat is monitoring that the value of the bar needs to be equal to the current value which for example 10 health when you do so inside the bar this function is called or this uh, property is called which says well we just tried to set the value which means we need to change our fill amount our fill amount is equal to map that value we just set 10 health for example between 0 and and maximum value and between 0 and 1 so this will create a fill amount that is equal to the map the, the current value of the player's health for example maybe it's a little confusing but it will make sense uh, later when we start to use it i hope so um the max value also need to be set so we need to make a property for this one as well if you have visual studio right click and um, um, encapsulate the fields or press ctrl r e click apply and this will make the same structure as i just showed you before we can right click quick action and so on return need to do the same here we need to make sure that we set the max value on our bar if we don't do that then then the bar is not going to um, reflect the correct value so every time our player gets a higher amount of uh, maximum health then we need to set the max value here and basically we can just make sure that every time we set the max value of our stat well then it also sets the max value on the bar so we don't need to think about that we can do that by saying bar dot max value equals value or basically yeah we can do like this or we can jump down here and say equals max value it, it gives the exactly the same value uh, the same exam uh, the same result is what i'm trying to say so what we have done here is that oh the player just put on a new piece of armor he needs to have a higher amount of health maximum health so we call maximum value we say well this maximum value of of the current stat which is health for example is equal to that new value let's say 200 then we take our bar and tell the bar well your max value is equal to the new max value we have which is this one so we set the max value of the bar the max value of the bar is used when we set the value so hey we just increased our maximum health so now we're done in this class for now we will come back here to add one more thing but i would like to get a little more progress before we actually add that so you can see what what the extra function is going to do so the next thing we have to do is to jump to our player because our player needs to be able to use a stat so basically now we created a class for every single stat so every time you make a new stat like health mana uh, energy and so on we will have to instantiate the stat class here to reflect this so you go to your player and in here we can make a private stat called health so this is my health now my player actually has health um, and if I write for example health dot 
then I can set the current value of health, I can get the max value of health, and so on. So if I need to increase my health, I can say current value plus equals 10, for example. But um, right now, I would like to be able to see this health in the inspector. So if I serialize this field here and save this, jump back into Unity, um, create a new object like by clicking create going to um, create empty so this is going to my, my player clicking this and writing player so basically you just need to add a script to your player if you already have a player in your game simply just add it like this select your script and take the player script and drag it onto your player so you just saw I serialized my stat but I can't see my stat out here uh, even though it's serialized and that's because the um, stat is not a mono behavior so it's not serializable by default so to make it serializable I have to write a tag up here on top of the class name and write serializable s-e-r-i-a-l-e-z-a-b-l-e -E -E. that's how it is okay so if you have an error here and it says it doesn't work well that's because you haven't write written using unity engine so up here uh, not unit engine, um, where is it? Quick actions, system, that's it. So we haven't used, uh, click using system. So click using system. And if you can't right click on it and do click quick actions, then simply write using system up here on line three, for example. So then you can see it turns uh, like turquoise blue thingy. And when you've done that, you should be able to see it in the inspector by clicking on the player. And then you can see now it's a written health here. Okay, so we can see our health, but we can't see anything on it yet. So if we go back to the script and make sure we serialize everything we need to see out there. So we need to serialize our bar. So serialize field. We need to serialize our max value and we need to serialize our current value so we can start uh, with some specific values for our player. We can set his current health and his max health from the get-go. So if we save this and jump back in here and wait a few seconds, then you'll see there's a little arrow between next to health. If you click that one, you'll see there's a bar and a maximum and a current value. So let's say that our maximum value is 100 and our current value is now, let's say, um, 100 as well. Let's just start with full health. Um, then the health here needs to know which bar it's, co it's connected to. And the bar it's connected to is the health bar. So we just have to take the health bar and drag it onto the slot. So now we have added a stat to the player called health. We have told it what the maximum health it is, what its current health is, and what bar it needs to update. Okay. So far, so good. So if we go to the player here, <coughs> we'll see there is one problem. We need to update our health and we can make some simple functions. Let's let's go to our update here. And let's make an if statement. Let's say if our input dot get key down key code dot double dot q. So if we click on q we say health minus not health because we can't do like that, but we have health here, health here, we health dot current value minus equal 10. So we reduce the current value of health by 10. And if we copy paste this one underneath and use W instead, then we say health dot current value plus equals 10. So we increase it with 10 instead. So now we change the current values, but let's try to run the game and and see what happens here. So we have 100 and 100. If I press Q, nothing happens. It reduces my health here, but it never shows, it doesn't reflect it on the bar here. And if I press W, you'll see that it, it gets increased and I can go over 100 right now, but we'll fix that later. But right now I can reduce my health on Q and I can increase my health on W, but let's make sure that it also reflects the bar here. So to fix this, jump back into your script. And in here, we have to add a new function to stat because right now we are never setting the max value. 
And because we're never setting the max value to anything, well, then um, it can't reflect it correctly on the bar, of course. So we need to make a new function called public uh, void initialize. And in initialize, we have to set the max value. So we say this that max value equals max value. So we set max value here equal to the max value up here. And how can we do that? Well, in the inspector, we set the max value of this one, but it never called this max value property so that it set the set the bars max value here. So to do so, to update this, we say that this max value here is equal to the one we wrote in the inspector. So now that one is updated. Same goes for the current value. We need to say this dot current value equals current value. So this basically just said, well, we set the current value in the inspector and we need to update the bars value. So we call current value and update it with this line of code here. So now we have the initialize function, but we also need to call it from somewhere. We can call this function from awake in our player. And here it's very important that you call it from awake and not start because the initialize needs to be called before uh, the start function of our bar script. Because later we are going to have some functionality in our bar script start, which is dependent on um, on the on the wake function of the player or the initialize of the of the stats. So basically, delete start and write void, write private void um, awake. And in awake, we will say health dot initialize. There we go. So now we are making sure that our health is initialized. So we save and go back to Unity. If we play the game then we should be able to reduce health on Q, as you can see here, and increase it on a W. But you can see we can go way above uh, the maximum value, so we'll fix that. And you can see it just goes down in chunks, as you can see here. It doesn't look smooth as it did uh, in the intro to this, uh, this, uh, uh, this tutorial. So of course, we'll also fix that so it doesn't go down in chunks. But right now, we have a um, health bar that functions um, and we can reduce the health by pressing a key. Of course, in your games, you will have to reduce the health by taking damage from an enemy, for example. So I think that's it for this little video here. Um, in the next video, we will look at um, making sure that we can't go over uh, the maximum and below the minimum. And we'll also add the functionality so that it lerps nicely from point to point instead of these chunky, chunky movements here. Thank you for watching and remember to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page and please also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already. Um, also, um, if you like my videos and you want to support me, then please consider supporting me. Uh, you can do that in two different ways. Um, you can do it on Patreon. If you do it on Patreon, you'll of course also get something back. You will get access to all the projects that I've ever made for my tutorials. Um, so you can just go there and download them and you can also get private tutoring. Besides that, you can also support me by getting one of my projects as a standalone um, part. So you can just go to the link in the bottom of the screen here. And here you can go and download this specific project or you can browse around on my page to uh, get any of my other projects. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you will continue with this series.